This is the Series 1 and Series 2 by Yobi Paddle. Yobi Paddle is a new entry to the pickleball paddle market that's goal is to provide thermoform paddles at an affordable price point and also provide some fun designs on the paddles. Let's start with the Series 1 paddle, which I think is the more interesting of the two. As mentioned before, this is a unibody thermoform paddle with edge foam in the perimeter, and this version has a 16mm core and an elongated shape. While it is 16.5 inches in length, it's actually only 7.25 inches in width, compared to the 7.5 inch width elongated paddles traditionally come in, but we'll go over later why they decided to go with this width. The handle is very long at 6.25 inches, which is actually the same length as another paddle I reviewed on this channel, the Proline Energy by Pickleball Apes. In fact, the two paddles do share some similarities, so I want to spend some time comparing the two. The Proline Energy is actually 17 by 7 inches, so it's longer and even thinner, but the similar characteristic the two paddles have is that they are both really great for baseline drives. Paddles with longer handles let you whip ground strokes really fast, letting you generate lots of power and spin on shots when you can get a full swing. While the Proline Energy is a bit longer than the Series 1, you'll get a tad bit more reach, but the thinner shape does make the sweet spot thinner and not as forgiving on blocks and resets. The other key difference is the surface. The Proline Energy uses a blend of carbon fiber and Kevlar, which makes the paddle on the softer side without as much pop as pure carbon fiber paddles. While longer handle paddles tend to have higher swing weights, the Proline Energy redistributes the weight more evenly throughout the paddle, so the swing weight isn't any more than other elongated paddles. On the other hand, the Series 1 has a raw carbon fiber surface, so it does have more pop than the Proline Energy, and in my opinion, you can get more spin on drives with it as well. Now while the length is 0.5 inches shorter, you do get a tad bit more forgiveness on the width, but not much. The reason the width doesn't go to that 7.5 inches is because this is Yobi's way of reducing the swing weight, so it isn't too high and it's more similar to that of the Proline Energy. I didn't find either paddle to be slow at the net, but this came at the cost of the sweet spot on both paddles, which isn't as good as other traditional elongated paddles because of their dimensions. So while you do get extra power on ground strokes and a longer handle to have more space for both your hands, it comes at the cost of a smaller sweet spot. I do think the Series 1 is an interesting paddle to pick up since it's similar to the Proline Energy in the sense that you can get strong drives with a longer handle, but it has a more traditional elongated shape with more pop. So it's definitely something to consider if you were interested in the Proline Energy, but were not a fan of its thinner shape. Now onto the Series 2. This is just a thermoform carbon fiber elongated paddle with an arrow curve at the top. It's 16.5 by 7.5 inches and has a 5.5 inch handle, so the same dimensions as the Yola Hyperion and Rhombus R1.16. The paddle itself isn't anything special other than the price at $120. At that price point, the only other arrow curve elongated paddle is the Triple J Judah, which has a slightly shorter handle at around 5.3 inches. Between the two, the Series 2 is a bit more stiff, but it does have a more solid feel to it, though honestly, they are pretty similar, other than the handle length. One more thing to consider is that the Series 2 does come in a 14mm and 16mm core thickness option, and there aren't that many paddles at the $120 price point that do come in 14 millimeters, so the Series 2 is something to look into if you do want a thinner paddle in that shape. Yobi Paddle also has some limited edition and fun designs. The one I'm using here is the Christmas version, but they also have a Maui one as well to help raise money to help out with the wildfires that swept across Maui. Now these limited edition designs do cost $5 more, but they do add some fun graphics to the paddle, and I do believe they plan on releasing more designs in the future. Overall, at $120, both the Series 1 and Series 2 by Yobi Paddle are excellent budget options that do bring in some unique dimensions to the budget thermoform market. Both are competitively priced for a budget paddle, and with the Series 1 you get an extra long handle, while the Series 2 you get more core thickness options and fun designs as an option. I've linked my discount code here and in the video description below that will get you 10% off your order from the Yobi Paddle website.